Hello there, guys. Welcome back to another episode of ENF TV. Uh, today we're joined by the lovely Olivia Abba, who is a pr revenue management professional. <music> Olivia, thank you so much for joining us today. Hi, Tom. Thanks for having me. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. It's a pleasure. Um, so, Olivia, these episodes are all about you, all about the candidates that are on the market right now, um, giving you a chance to promote yourselves, but also giving us a bit of an idea of what it actually looks like out there from a candidate's perspective. Um, so I suppose, first off, the best thing to do would just be able to understand a bit more about you. So, yeah, please do. Tell us a bit about yourself. All right, so I have a bachelor degree specializing in uh, hospitality and uh, hospitality management uh, with a major in finance and revenue management. Straight after school, I was uh, recruited by AG uh, for their two years management training in operations. So um, I started working at the Intercontinental London Park Lane uh, doing a two years rotation in different departments only in operations. And uh, then straight after my management training, I was hired by, by the hotel and I started working as a duty manager and a guest relations manager for about two years. Then I was promoted to club manager. So it's a head of department role. And I spent again approximately another 18 months um, in this role. And then I moved to the reservations department to cover originally. Um, and then I had a great opportunity coming up at the uh, London, Langham London. So I moved to the Langham London as a groups and reservations manager. So it's very much the, I would say, the traditional way of moving into revenue. Yeah. And then uh, after um, approximately a year there, I was given an opportunity uh, again at the Intercontinental London Park Lane. Great opportunity came up to join the revenue department as the, an assistant revenue reporting directly into the revenue director. Uh, and that's where I, were, I was until, until two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, um, obviously, we've, we've been in, in touch for, for some time now, so I'm yeah. sort of very yeah. much <laughs> to your background, but I think it's great for the audience to be able to hear what's been going on with yourself and, and of course, what brought you to your most sort of mm -hmm. recent role, I suppose. Um, yeah. She brings me sort of swiftly on to, uh, I suppose, my first question, which is, yeah. What's your experience been like on the market that we're seeing at the moment, being a candidate in, this, uh, in these difficult times? Well, I would say it's never really pleasant. That's true. It's always a bit stressful because of the current situation and there are a lot of really good candidates on the market. But as everybody, I'm trying to stay positive. You know, um, you know, I I find there are a few things that I do find challenging. Um, like for example, you just have a job advert coming up. Uh, it has just been posted, and uh, turns that you find yourself in the middle of the pile still. So um, it's it's quite challenging. These kind of things. There is also what I think I do find challenging is the fact that. Sometimes you're going to apply and it's going to be one person skimming through your CV and maybe they're not going to like one thing and they will put your CV away straight. So, you know, I'm trying really to, to uh, reach out to any connection I have and I'm really trying hard to, um, you know, uh, have have the, the, the connection that I can find to actually reach out to the right person in the role that I have seen online. Definitely. I think it's... Um it always comes down to more than just putting your application in because there's yeah. so many now. Um, yeah. And I do think it's so important to look at your other connection channels, whether yeah. that be LinkedIn, but also calling yeah. the company directly, uh, or of course, trying your best to try and find the email address of that individual. Yeah. Of course, I'd also think as well, and something that obviously we've spoken about, but yeah. utilizing people like myself and other professionals in yeah. the industry that might know somebody in certain businesses, yeah. trying to see if you can build some sort of connection there as well. So I completely yeah. agree with you. I think it, it should <laughs> never stop with just pressing the apply now button and being part of that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I suppose, you know, in a lot of ways, a lot of people have been feeling, you know, the weight of, of everything that's been going on and they've got to keep themselves motivated, which yeah. I think is incredibly easy for other people to say, oh, you need to stay motivated, you need to stay positive. I suppose, yeah. what have you been doing during this very difficult time to keep yourself motivated? Yeah. 
Uh, well, myself personally, I try to stay active as much as I can. So everybody, I guess everybody will say, say the same, but it's very important not to let yourself go. So I go running, I go walking every day. You know, I I just I just you know keep myself really uh, active. Yeah. It's also for your well-being. I think it's really important. And also, I uh, you know I try to improve myself. Uh, in the sense that I try to bring new skills that I could use in my new role. So, uh, for example, I started, uh, I'm officially an ACCA student. So, you know, I'm trying to get this qualification or at least be part qualified and maybe it's something, you know, I'll be able to use. And, you know, I'm also uh, trilingual. So, you know, I'm, I'm having uh, bits and pieces of uh, articles uh, in Spain, in France, in the UK. So, you know, just just trying to improve yourself and of course uh, stay connected to the hospitality industry and you know uh, to the world uh, generally speaking and so you know do not give up and stay true to yourself I guess. Amazing I, again I couldn't agree with you more I think it's definitely about staying in touch with what's going on in the market yeah. and as you so rightly said looking at different skills that you could develop during this period of time yeah looking at various courses online, no matter what they might be, it's something yeah. you could be interested in from a personal perspective, but also yeah. a cultural one. Um, I, I remember sort of talking to a candidate on an episode that we recorded, yeah. uh, I think last week, um, and he even said, look, I, I started taking um, dancing lessons. Um, <laughs> yeah. it's again, it's, it's one of these things where keeping yourself engaged, no matter what it is, again, from a personal or uh, a professional perspective. Um, I suppose, you know, coming away from keeping yourself motivated, yeah. you know, what this sort of um, initiative is all about is trying to bring a community uh, together, that being people on the market. So I suppose, what would your advice be to other people, on, you know, in the same position as you right now, trying to find a job? What, what, what advice yeah. would you give them right now? So I would say, first of all, ask for advice on your uh, on your CV. I think that's something, you know, get feedback because you might find it absolutely amazing. Someone else will bring something else, you know, and someone else will bring something else and it will improve. You will see your, your CV might, you know, make change completely from the original version, actually. So I would say really ask for advice because again, it will be submitted to a recruiter or submitted to a company and it's going to be someone else assessing your CV. So it's very difficult very important i think to get different points of view on your cv i would say also um reach out to any contact you have uh you know anyone that could help being successful um, for any job and as everybody i guess would say sign up for job alerts every time there are jobs being posted just sign sign up for any job alert and you know uh, again try to improve your skills if you can you know by taking as you said different online courses, any kind of accolades. And, um, you know, I think do not let this temporary situation um, impact you. Uh, this is, It's just a temporary unemployment in your life and you need to see the bright side of this because uh, in any difficult situation, you will always learn something. So, you know, try to um, try not to let this situation affect you. Yes. No, I, I, again, I think anybody viewing this right now would do nothing but agree with you uh, on pretty much well, on all your points. Um, what I'd say, guys, anybody sort of watching this episode now, whatever advice that you would give somebody, please do comment in the box below. I know that Olivia and I would love to hear it. Um, Olivia, just a quick message to anybody that's looking at this that is a potential employer now. Um, anybody that watches this and you're looking for some sort of uh, revenue management professional with a couple yeah. of years under their belt with a well-rounded experience behind her, please do get in touch with Olivia directly, go to her LinkedIn page, drop her a message. I know that she'd be thrilled to hear from anybody that's looking for, a, for somebody on the market right now. Um, Olivia, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank Thanks Tom, for having me really. Oh, no, no. It was an absolute pleasure. pleasure <laughs> to be um, well, thank you so much. I'll leave you to the, to the rest of your week. Um, <laughs> please take a look who's on next week's episode now. <laughs>